Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we, um, I know like the last three videos I've made have been a little bit, um, what's the word? Kind of committed, if that makes sense. You know, like all the layers and stuff like that. So, um, I fancied doing something easy breezy, uh, light hearted, just you know, sitting down and crafting and filling your stash because I do love my um, shop your stash and my replenishing your stash. I love those videos. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So today I have, um, I was just having a little look around my craft room and I found my two rolls of stickers. So I've got some craft stickers and I have, let's just peel this off because they're, um, they're like, yeah, they're not very wide. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to make, I'm going to make some sticker clusters. That's what I'm going to make. So I have cut a load out. I've got some of, um, a nice little pile of the brown ones and a nice little pile of the white ones as two, two. I like the white ones. They're quite thin. Um, and what you can use these for, because I've made some already, <laughs> you know I have, um, and so I made three of each, so I've got three of the white ones and three of the craft ones as well, um, yeah, look how cool they are, they're like so cool, and what you could use them for is I've got some, these little, um, like little file folder things they're they're a uh, die from Heidi Swap and the paper is um Elizabeth Craft Designs I'm just going to give it a quick little ink around the edges um it's got like a little tuck there look oh I love these and they're available on Heidi Swap Shop on her website but they're so such cool little dies I mean I love all Heidi Swap dies anyway So I'm not going to do all of it. I'm just going to do, do the front. And I might do the inside because you can see that too. And then just going to... Pop that back there like that. And then... If we just peel off our sticker clusters, stick it on, we have a ready-made little junk journal. And because the, obviously these bits on here are still sticky. So what you could do, mm, washi tape which I don't seem to have right now. I mean, you could fold it over like that if you wanted to. I mean, I might fold over that side because um, and then just leave this side sticking out because yeah, I don't want to, but I don't know where my washi tape has all gone. Oh, hold on a minute. We have a rule here. So yeah, you could just go a little bit too thick could just put a little bit of washi tape over the edge and then just oh my ruler stuck and then just trim it Trim it off just like that, and then it's not it's not sticky at the back. And there you have yourself a really cute little file folder with one of your cluster stickers. I mean, look, that's just so cute. That look cute in any junk journal. 
so yeah that, that is what we are going to make today it's quick it's easy it's fun oh i mean just look at these they're just so cool and believe it or not these are just using scraps i have literally just used scraps so let's put these little ones away the scraps i have i'm also going to be using um i can't remember what's in here actually i think i have the so in here we've got college tiles and um some snippets as well i don't know which snippets though just this says the ephemera pack snippets so yeah there's quite a few different ones in here so we'll probably use some of those I also, while I sat here crafting, I was, um, let me just put this out of the way. I also did some stamping on the coffee, on my coffee paper as well. So I have some like, use some Tim Holtz stamps, have some like really cool stamps as well. And inside here, there is just, um, here's some more. And for some, I just love stamping on, um, I mean these, how cool are these they're just so cool um i just love stamping on coffee paper then i have some tickets as well these were washi tape tickets i just stuck them on some craft paper um yeah and i'll just have lots and lots of just ephemera i've got some more tickets down here and stuff some scrap craft stock paper um i also so i also have these as well which are my digitals from um vibe of vintage which i love absolutely love um her digitals are so cool um there's a couple of sets in here um so i will list down below which sets i used but yeah there is oh look at all that absolutely love them and i completely forgot completely forgot i had printed and sat down one evening put on a movie and cut all these out look have tons of them so we are going to be using i mean how cool is that little envelope we are going to be using the um vibe of vintage digitals as well so that's what we've got i'm going to get a small piece of acetate i have got a speckled egg Walnut stain, vintage photo, scorch timber as well. I have some black cotton. I also have, um, where's it gone? Some mummy cloth too. I have numerous amount of stamps as well. Um, so I have these stamps here um just a little little collection of some of the texturized stamps that i've got plus i have um if, i'll just fold them out so you can see them um i have these ones out as well so that's about all i'm gonna need so let's let's get on and make some sticker clusters Right, so first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my archival ink in black soot and I'm just going to take a few label stamps. And you can get these rolls on Amazon or Staples or any WH Smith, anywhere like that. So even supermarkets, I think, sell label rolls of labels as well. Right, so... I'm just going to get the odd stamp. And what I do with, with me. All right, so what I do with these red back stamped stamps is I just get a glue stick and just put a little smidgen of glue on the back and then it sticks. So I'm just going to randomly stamp i'm not bothered about it being perfect at all 
I mean, this one doesn't even sit on the stamp block, but I don't care because I'm just going to see just that. That's perfect. Just perfect. So I'm just going to move the stamp ones. Perfect. I love this stamp. Oh, right now let's do some craft stock ones. <laughs> Love it. Perfect. Lovely. And I've just got a rough bit of paper. And now I am just going to... I have... Um, so I've got that one. I found it. So I've got my um, sample snippets of nature because I love this one. So I just love the font. So we're just going to just again, just, oh, I can pick them all up. Just going to randomly put some text. I don't think I'm going to put it on the block because I kind of like just the random, random parts of text. Just like that. And then some down there as well. bit there, a little bit in the corner and then I think we're going to use a different one. Um, so I have some all and create stamps. So I have these ones. I might. Oh, yes, look at this one. Yes. Oh, love it. Yep, 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 yep. Now let's get the two. Oh, yes. Right, where's the craft ones? Let's do some of this on the craft ones. Let's get the two on here. Now don't be perfect because you're not really... Um, it's just for texture so you're not really gonna you'll see some of the background but not a lot perfect right so that's the stamping done so we're gonna put that away we're going to get out, let's put the labels away as well. And now we're going to get our little piece of acetate 
and I'm just going to spray some vintage photo on once I've um I don't know why my vintage photo leaks and then I'm going to get my oh not my brayer I'm going to get my water square sprayer and just spray a little bit of water on and then I'm going to get my brush and I'm just going to Just move it round the acetate so you've got some lighter areas and some darker areas. I'm just going to wipe that off my brush. That's it. And then we're just going to take our labels and just dab. In bits just randomly <laughs> it's just so lush perfect and our last one lovely wipe that off that's why I love having a piece of acetate handy right and now I'm just going to give them all a quick blast and um, watch them fly across my desk. <laughs> so I'm just going to give them a bit quick dry, but then I'll be right, back. So now they're all dry, we're going to go in with some speckled egg. Speckled egg and vintage photo, I think, are my most favourite colours. Or uh, vintage photo and shabby shutters. Oh, love that two combo. So I'm just going to do... I'm nearly out as well, so I need to buy a new one. So again. Just going to brush it all around. And then just dab. Look. So cool. Get some colour on there. Let's put a little bit more. I'll do. I'm just going to use my finger just to mooch it about. Lovely. I mean, obviously, you could just leave these as they are. And just use them as um, some like layer play pieces in your clusters. You don't have to. Oh, look, one left. Yeah, you don't have to. Um... Definitely need a new one. You don't have to use these as clusters. You can just. A little bit more on this one perfect you could just keep these as they are and use them as um elements to build a page because how cool are they i mean look they're just they're just so cool <gasps> i love them i mean look at this one oh yes 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 and that one I mean, they would just literally be just really cool on their own. Um, I mean, for example, I made I made that, um, but I haven't filled in the back yet. So what I could do is let's just, for example, uh, let me dry them first and then I'll be back. Right. So they're all nice and dry now. And as I was saying, you can sort of get um, 
a piece of your work and you could just let's see which one shall we have shall we have this one because that one's quite cool um no let's have this one i like this one and just Stick it on your work as part of an element. I mean, you could even go so far as to put another piece sort of there. Or even, where's the bits that I've made? You could even I mean, how cool does that look now? And there you have A ready-made tag page you just go into your go into your stash oh wrong way yeah and you've got a ready-made you got ready-made pages so you don't have to actually make um clusters out of these but it, we are going to today right so that's all the inking and stamping for now is it though is it is it? No, it's not. It's not. We're going to do... Um, we're going to put some numbers on. So I've got my field notes, which looks a bit sparse. So I know I'm missing some. And I've got my sign here by Kathy Holden. So I'm going to use those. Um, and I'm just going to put some numbers on. But I believe... These might be, um, I think that's, I think that's eccentric, that one. I've got filed and I've got my little barcode one. Let me wrap my cotton back up. And I think, oh no, I've got another one here, another little number. Perfect. So these are going to be perfect. This is my favourite one off of Field Notes, I have to say. So I'm going to get out my black soot again. Oh, and I'm just going to... Look at that. I mean, that on its own. That just looks so cool. So let's put that on. Let's take this one now. And we're just going to do... One up the side. Oh, <laughs> I love them. I might even put a little bit. Oh, don't. I need to clean this because it's not sticking anymore. I know, I know. It's my jumper. I don't care. All right, so let's put... How cool is that? Oh, stamps, they just, they amaze me. Absolutely amaze me. I love them. Right, and we're going to put filed on one. We're going to put that down here. Yes. And then we're going to put the received in the corner. Look at that. Look at that. It up there perfect and then what do we have oh I love this number let's put this let's put this on one of the oh there's a the ink pad on one of the craft ones let's put this at the top oh, that's cool and let's put it going down the side in the middle going down the side <laughs> yes 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 and then i believe we have yes we do i love this one too i don't know if i'm gonna have to update my field notes
my field note stamp set. Um, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to update it because I think I'm missing quite a few. Right, so let's put this one down there. Oh, look how cool that looks. And I like this one, so I'm gonna put this one. <laughs> at the top there. Um, what else? Let's put you there in the middle. I'm going to use 3043. No, I'm not, because I've only got one left and I haven't used my sign here. And I have a number in here, this one, that I love. Just there, look at that. Oh, a bit of rubbish. That's just so cool. I want to carry on stamping now, but I think we're done with the stamping. I think we're done with the stamping. Now we need to add. I'm going to put that away later because otherwise we'll be crinkling everywhere right so i'm going to get rid of this piece of paper and now we are just going to literally add staple glue everything right so now we're going to go into our little stash and i think i'm going to use this little luxury train ticket and just just to stress around the edges a little bit so just sparingly not hugely. Right, so firstly we're going to use this. And then... Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, yes. Shall we use the numbers underneath? Let's give these a quick. In fact, I think we'll use them on the top, just like that. So I'm going to get my glue. Because some of it I'm going to staple and some of it I'm going to glue. And I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm not going to get in my own head. See, that already looks so cool. Yes, I'm not getting in my own head. Oh, no, I can't have that. It's Sanders workshop. <laughs> A little bit early for that. Um, so we've got ticket. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, 
Oh, return. That's pretty cool. Not that I'm going with a the theme, but... And then we can... Just... Staple that on there. And then I think we're going to have... Um, just a little bit sticking off like that. That's quite like that. And you see what I mean about you covering up the background? I think I'm going to put another staple in there. Don't worry about stapling through the backing of the stamp because um, that's better. Because it will rip off anyway, so yeah, that's not a problem. That's not an issue at all. Right, so what else have we got? Let's have a look and see what else we've got in here. Shall I put a little butterfly on it? Let's have a look in our ephemera. See what we've got in here. Give it a little bit of a sand on the edges as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And then behind this, I want a little bit of mummy cloth. Just gonna lay that down there and then I did I stuck a butterfly on it and there's one cluster. I quite like that. I think that's quite cool. I love the mummy cloth. Just it apart and shape it up and stuff ah there's another one right let's do another one right so firstly we're going to just sand this one up give it a little bit of anchoring and then i think shall we use this one Um, let's, let's use one of these and maybe some of this. Oh, I've got some vintage tape. Shall we use a smidgen of this as well? Yes. Why not? So let's put this along the bottom, just above the barcode. And then Oh, 
just put this just down the sides and then I'll chop the ends off. Alright, so let's give this a Good old sun then. And then a smidgen of vintage around. Let's put this here. And then we've got another piece. I don't quite want it that big though. So we're just going to put this here and then this is gonna go down here and then get some vintage photo for this these ones are off the attic um Tim Holt stamp set I'm going to put that over there and I hold it down for a second. I mean, it's simple, but it's cool as it's just so cool. And then I'm just going to ruffle up, ruffle up my mummy cloth. And I think, I think that's enough, except... <laughs> <sighs> it's never enough right so in the speckled egg oxide I'm just gonna so you can just kind of see it in the background oh, I love that one I love that one right so that's two let's do a couple more um, what one shall we do do this one right so for this one we're going to use some bits from here um, ba, 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 ba. maybe use a cool tag I think one of mine that should go in there and I think that is as well yep right so condemned concealed discover um, let's get those two out the two numbers here I quite like that right so let's have a look where we're going see the only thing is this has got um a little bit of red on which I'm not too bothered about I'm not too bothered We want this over this. Let's give this a bit on. Not with your sander. Not with your sander. 
All right, so let's put a little bit of, and I think we might put a little bit of mummy cloth just coming out of there as well. And then put the label over the top. Um, and then we could ink this up and then put this while it's still wet. Coming out the bottom. So look, that's just a little bit too cool, that is. Or maybe this would look better on a brown one. See, that's the only trouble with digitals is I've got to cut them out. <laughs> oh, and that's never good, as we all know. Um, oh, now the look at that. Oh, my. Yes, it was like it was made for it with the number and the 34. Yes, 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 yes. It was like it was made for it. Now, do we want... I'm sure there's two here. Yeah, there is. So we want something like this. In the background. No. No, no, no. Because it's going to cover up our 34 and our number. Right, so let's put this on. Even though it is wonky because, well, I cut it out. I might be able to. Nope. Oh, well. I'll just leave it like that. My goodness, I can't even stick things down straight. There we go. Right. So let's put this back and let's see what we have in here. Um, I have two of those circle things actually. I have this one as well. So I might use this. Quite like that on it. And I thought I had, I do, I have this. Oh, now this would look pretty cool. Let me ink this up and then, and then we could put this. Down there, maybe. Or there, maybe. Hmm. See, this is shiny, so I don't think it's going to... Oh, it will. It will. Because it's a stamp. I got from Esther's shop that she gifted me. All right, we don't want all the angles to be the same. And this should be dry now, so I'm just going to pull. That's it. That's it. Um, do we want butterfly on there or do we want a piece of a 
ephemera. No, do you know what? I think we want a butterfly. We do, don't we? Should we put a butterfly on that? Or a moth, actually. This is a moth. And I'm just going to glue down the middle because... Ah! Well, because I don't want to drop it. But what I do want to do is... Let's move it over a bit. I just want to lift up the wings just so it's got a bit of a bit of dimension now i think this i think this might go yeah that's where that's going to go all right so just a little bit in the top corner And then yeah, that will do. And then we're just going to put a little bit of glue on there. Stick that down. Oh, got some seepage. And there we have another one. That's quite cool. I quite like that one. So, so far we have, we have three. Oh, I'm loving them. Right, so let's do, let's do another one. And I think we're gonna have some numbers and some paper. Oh, should we have a photo corner? And then this, and then this. Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh, and then some of that. Yes, right. So let's get, let me just trim this down because this just looks A little too thick. Not too sure now. I just can't cut straight. <laughs> Trouble is, is you cut it and then you just end up trying to straighten it. And then before you know it, you're like, oh, well, that's it. It's all gone. <laughs> it's all gone. Right, so let's get rid of this little bit of paper. And then just ink this up a little bit and put this here. Let's take the top strip off. Put that there. Um, I don't know if... Yeah, well. All right, so I'm not too sure I want to use that line of numbers because it's a little bit too thick. So let's see what else we've got. Right, so we have either one of these. Quite like this one. So first off, we're just going to put a smidgen of glue on this, and we're just going to place this here. And then we're going to put a smidgen of glue here, and just put that there. And then we're gonna I've got some little bits of ephemera I just stamped. I could put that there and then I 
could put those there in that corner. Yeah, let's put those there. And I think I'm going to put... Where's that other smidgen of mummy cloth gone? All right, let's just cut another bit. I think I'm going to put this here. And then... And then, if we put this bit just kind of there, and stick it in. This bit. There. And I reckon, I reckon we can um, call this one done as well. Because they don't have to be extremely busy. Oh, what is wrong with me today, look? Ah! I just can't seem to stick anything down straight. I'm having a wonky day. That's what I'm having. I'm having a wonky day. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a staple straight through those. Just like that. And then let's see if there's oh yeah off the bottom there because I do like things if you've watched any of my cluster videos before I love I love hanging things off the end off the edge just makes them really quirky right so i'm just going to put some on the top make sure it is the top because lately i keep putting things on upside down and we're just going to stick that on the end and there we have another one and that one i like that one that one's really cool so so far we have four clusters so let's make one more and then I'm going to use these. Oh, I quite like that one. I quite like that one. I don't know if I want to use these ones. But, yeah. So I'm going to use. I'm going to do these two. Right. So last one. So. I've got this little bit of blue paper here, vintage paper. Come on, Mr. Glue. There we go. Oh, blimey. A bit too much. And then we're going to stick this on here. Hopefully straight. <laughs> oh. And then I'm going to put a little line right on the edge because I want the numbers down there and then we're going to stick this down but like always I'm not going I'm not going to the edge in case I want to tuck something behind here. Where's my pin? Because my glue seems to have gone kaput. It's better. There we go. Right, so just little...
Come on, play ball. There we go. All right, that'll do. And then just gonna. And I know this one covers quite a bit of the background, but that's fine. Right, because up here, I want to stump a number. So that kind of makes up for... There we go, perfect. Any of the background stamping that we lost... And then while we're here, I think I'm just going to do a little doop. Because why not? Why not? Right, so now I am going to have a look through my curator snippets. Nope. And I want a large one. I really need these in like um, a big tub. That's quite cool, that one. Oh, a little smidgen. That's cute. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Right, that's that's quite a cool colour. Oh, we've got some little runaways. Right, let's sand these up. Let's get this one. And this time on this one, I have got some like black tool. No, I'm not gonna use the black tool. I'm gonna use my cotton. So I'm just gonna Unravel about two arms lengths, and then I'm just gonna wrap it around two of my fingers, slide it off, and then just kind of manipulate it, move it around. Just like that. And then I'm going to get number one. Oh, that's it now. Right, so let's put this one here. And then we'll put this one, I think, here, so he's hanging off the bottom as well. And then I think I want to put... And then I'm going to put another bug on this one. Oh, I've got glue bubble. I think I'm going to put this one up here. I 
And there's our other one. Our another sticker cluster. So it got dark here all of a sudden, so I've put my ring light on. Just My ring light just up here. It's a bit bright. Right, so I wanted... Uh, when I do... Um, when I do clusters, I do like to have a focal point. Um, I don't know why. So I did some stamping um, on some coffee dyed paper. I just got the specimen and a couple of the labels that are in the field notes. I'm just gonna go round the label. Right, so I've pulled these little bits out, some vintage ephemera, and then, oh, I'm just going to, oh, no, wrong side, underneath. I'm just going to do a line underneath, and then just put this. Come on, scrap piece of paper, so I can go just there, and then I'm going to put it down, like that and then I want to cut my label in half it's probably not straight and then I want to put this just down here and now I'm just gonna stick Actually, I'm going to get a bit of mummy cloth, quite a long bit this time. And then I'm going to get a bit of speckled egg. And I just kind of want to, I mean, you might not see it, but you might as well against the, the beige. Right, so I'm going to lay this along there. Like that. And then I think... label coming out the bottom that over there because I'm not too sure about the blue and I think I want I want some colour because it's looking very barge And then I think, oh, this is a little cutie. Should we try and put this somewhere? That shot has slipped out. I don't know where this can go. Let's put him down here. 
straight though, Tone. Yeah, do you want to do it straight? No, you don't want to do it straight. There you go. Yeah, we do want to do it straight. <laughs> we want to do it straight. Right, now in here somewhere, I have got... I have... I've got a little bee. So let's ink him up a smidge. And then I think we can put him. Right, so let's pull out. Some of the. Some of the mummy cloth and then we'll put this just over the top there just pull out some of this as well and then i quite like that one that one's kind of cool right so now i'm gonna have a tidy up and then i'll be back and we'll have a look at what we've made right so Oh, I had so much fun doing this. This was so relaxing. I don't know if you could tell. Um, they are stunning. I absolutely, oh, I love that one. I absolutely love that one. These three stamps here, they're just so cool. They're absolutely so cool. I kind of think, I mean, look at that with the vintage tape on as well. I kind of think I like the little ones, but well, no, oh, I don't know. I don't know. They're, uh, this one, ah. Oh, it's just too cool. It is just too cool. So with the stamped backgrounds and then the inking, I mean, look. I love this one. And there's the little far folder that we made. And there we go. The stamping, the inking, the sticking and everything. And ah, uh, yeah, these are, these are like so cool. So let's get another far folder. Why not? Why not? Because I just want to see if I think one of the big ones would be too big. Yeah, it would be. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. But it's not too big for the Tim Holtz one far folder die and i bet it's not too big for the elizabeth craft design one either because they've got the the long one with the slide um the the specimen slide die the long one with the specimen slide at the top and then you've got a big gap down the bottom you could put one of these down the bottom that would look so cool so yeah here are my cluster stickers i mean they're just perfect for a page and all you do because you just peel it off. And there you go. There you go. It's just, they're just, I love them. I love them. And I'm, I'm going to make loads of them, I think. Because they are, they're just perfect for when you're just like putting pages together. And you think, oh, what can I put there? Aha. One of my cluster stickers. Already that I've already made up. So thank you everybody for being here. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I hope you give this a go. If you do, don't forget to tag me in social media. All my socials are listed in the description box down below. And yeah, I will see you um, in my next video. My next video is going to involve this again. This again. And this. Yep. I love these. I love them. So, yeah, that's what my next video involves. So, don't forget to keep an eye out for that. Um, and have a brilliant evening. And I'll see you all next time. Happy crafting, everybody. Bye.